Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys my wash day routine. I'm starting on fully detangled hair and it has been sort of twisted like this uh, because I normally wash my hair in twist out. Um, I recorded a video for you guys on basically how I detangled my hair in my rice water uh, on in my taking down my four weeks <laughs> old braids uh, after using rice water so basically this video is following that video and this is basically just a wash day okay so my hair has been fully detangled twisted like this so it's basically ready to be washed and yeah if you're interested in this kind of video please make sure you keep on watching i will be doing some uh, lovely treatment on my hair as well later on not later on, like in this video <laughs> so be sure to watch till the end so that way you don't miss out on all the goodies that i'm going to show you guys so yeah i will show you guys every single steps of my wash day routine like yeah you don't want to miss this so make sure that you stay tuned okay guys so now let's take it to the bathroom okay guys so i'm preparing my apple cider vinegar rings so in here i've got um basically half a cup of water just a little bit over half a cup okay so i'm now going to add in the apple cider vinegar this one here i bought organic apple cider vinegar with the mother okay so i'm going to dilute dilute this and then i'll show you what i do with this uh, when i wash my hair okay Oh, I think I'm gonna take that thing out. Gosh, where is it gone? I think it's where it gone to the bottom. So what I'll do, I'll probably be able to fill this up with water because it seems a little bit too strong. Okay, so I'll show you exactly um, what I do with it once we get in the shower. So basically, I'm using. So if I fill this up, I will be using two third of water and then one third of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm starting here by wetting my hair. So you want to make sure that your hair is wet enough and then you go ahead and apply your shampoo. So the shampoo that I'm using is the Cantu Shea Butter Shampoo. I did show you guys this product in my quite a recent video actually. I think it was the video on how to grow long healthy hair without breaking the bank. So you can check that video out. Um, so I'll link it down below as well for you. So basically yeah i've done that and then i'm just sort of scrubbing my scalp here just making sure i remove all the build up of products dirt sweat whatever like all the dirt basically <laughs> so i'm just sort of using the tip of my fingers here not my nails you don't want to use your nails guys because you don't want to scratch your scalp and cause irritation so i'm just doing that and then i'm going ahead and rinsing off the shampoo from my hair so you want to make sure that it's completely uh, rinsed and yeah you haven't got any more shampoo so that's what I'm doing right here now I'm just getting rid of the excess water uh, from my hair so that's why I'm doing what you can see me do there now I'm going in with my apple cider vinegar mixture that I've done earlier on so apple cider vinegar is really good for your hair because it helps clarify your hair so essentially gets rid of the excess buildup products for example and also it, it allows it gives your hair shine and also retains moisture so I must also say that I shampooed my hair only once in this uh, wash uh, particularly because I knew I was going to use the um, apple cider vinegar so I left it for about 30 minutes and then went ahead and rinsed it off so yeah so that's what I want to do and I just love removing excess water from my hair guys because I hate coming out of the shower and then my hair, my, my hair is just dripping uh, with water so I like to do this you'll see me do that a lot in this video <laughs> right so uh, yeah that's it all nice and washed now it's time to apply our conditioner so I've made this homemade conditioner guys it's perfect like it's amazing I can't wait to share that with you guys like don't worry I got you I've got a video coming up after this one showing you all the products that I'm going to be using in this video and I promise you this is going to be a game changer to your wash day like literally my hair felt so amazing afterwards like this is pretty much all I'm going to do on my hair now um, it doesn't even take long to make either and it's quite nice and cheap and natural products but anyways so I'm just going ahead now and 
applying that conditioner to my hair uh, making sure that my whole hair is covered so yeah that's what I want to do and also you can't see then that in this video but I'm concentrating a lot on my ends you always want to make sure that your ends are covered guys because it's the usually the driest part of the hair uh, of your hair and also the part that's most likely to break uh, because it's the oldest part of your hair okay um, so yeah so once I've done that I'm just twisting it and then um, twisting it again just so that it doesn't dry out as I'm working on the other sections so you want to do that on your whole head um, so again just undo every single twist and then make sure that you cover it with that, that product or conditioner if you haven't um, I mean you don't still need to need to use this but I use this in this video so you can actually buy just a regular conditioner and that will do the same job actually but I think my conditioner is much better so if you want to make sure that you see that video so you don't miss out on that goodie make sure that you're subscribed and you hit your notification bell so you don't miss out on that video when i post it okay guys so i'm just making sure here that all the hair is covered i finished doing that now um you can see there i'm concentrating a lot on my edges as well my edges oh seriously it's a story for another day um yeah so once i've done that i'm just covering my hair with a plastic cap just to allow it to have a bit more heat okay so yeah i'll leave it for about 45 minutes and then we'll go back and wash it okay guys so we're back in the shower um so yeah i'm just on twisting out those twists if that's a thing and then i'm just gonna go ahead now and wash the conditioner off my hair so you want to make sure that you've got all the products out especially this one if you're going to be using this you want to make sure that you thoroughly rinse your hair because you don't want to have any leftover products in it because um yeah it would just sort of make your hair dirty again i think at some point when i was uh you'll see that in this video when i was uh sitting in the moisture i realized that i actually did not uh fully remove the products on one of my twists so yeah it can happen especially if you wash your hair in twist out so just make sure that you rinse it over and over and over again just so you can get all of that products out but obviously if you're using um an over-the-counter conditioner for example you don't necessarily need to worry so much about getting getting all of it out like what i'm trying to say is even if it doesn't all come out it's not the end of the world um for this one as well to be honest even though i forgot it on one twist it didn't actually cause me any trouble it's just that uh when i was sort of combing my hair it was looking the comb was looking a bit more dirty so i guess it was the product was coming out at that point um so to avoid it just make sure that you thoroughly rinse your hair so now we're out of the shower and i've let my hair dry a little bit so at this point it's just a little bit damp and i'm just going ahead and applying my uh leave-in conditioner so as leave-in conditioner i'm using um aloe vera gel so this is like pure aloe vera gel the one that i made myself and yeah so i'm just making sure that i rub that all over the hair and then um i'm using after that to seal in the moisture uh, my aloe vera oil so again i'm going to show you guys all this in the next video like i said so do make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on this so once i've finished that obviously you want to comb your hair just to make sure it's nice and detangled and then twist it away just to seal in that moisture now at this point you can actually go ahead and style your hair however you want i think maybe a couple of days later i put my hair back in braids because i just love my braids last time the way it made my hair feel it was so soft when i was taking them out so i really really loved it and that's why i wanted to have my braids on again so a couple of days later i went and i put them in braids but for this video i decided to just twist it like this because i didn't want a video to just be too long so yeah but at this point you can actually go and style your hair if you want to so as you can see there i'm working again on different sections so i'm working on my hair section by sections applying my leave-in conditioner which is my aloe vera gel and yeah now aloe vera gel is actually amazing for your hair like trust me guys oh seriously if you haven't been using aloe vera gel as a leave-in conditioner you definitely need to start doing that it makes your hair so soft it's so easy to detangle i don't know it's just it's just so lovely and also it makes your hair look so shiny you can see my hair there it's got so much shine to it 
and also my scalp is just so nice and clean like and i shampooed my hair only once so if you stick to this wash day like what i'm doing in this video guys you will always have nice clean refreshed you know an amazing looking hair after your wash day trust me and it's so quick as well and you end up with so much less breakage because that's another thing sometimes people lose so much hair when they're washing their hair just because of the fact that um maybe they're, they're not using the correct products to detangle their hair or they're not detangling properly and then they end up with so much breakage like throughout this whole process i'm going to show you at the end how much hair i've got from washing my hair detangling you like basically all of that handling you'll be surprised at how much hair i've actually got in this process that like, is amazing so yeah i love to share things like this with you guys just because i feel like people need to know i personally when i was growing my hair i didn't know how to handle it i didn't know what to do and at some point i even got fed up i even wanted to go and relax it i'm not even gonna lie but luckily i was patient enough and yeah i managed to find things that could help so i just thought yeah why not share it with you guys so yeah basically that's all i'm doing there using aloe vera gel as my leave-in and aloe vera oil as my leave-in but you don't necessarily need to use all those things again like i said guys there are other alternatives that i talked about in my other video which i'm going to link for you down below so just the regular leave-in conditioner will be fine but you do need some type of oil to um to to sit in the moisture okay guys right so let's keep on watching <laughs> So this is the part I was telling you about guys. I don't know if you can see on the hair there, I've got some of the products. Um, so yeah, obviously I didn't rinse, the, rinse that part properly, although I thought I did. So that's why I want to make sure that your hair is properly rinsed, but I didn't actually mind it. Um, so yeah, do make sure that when you, when you rinse your hair, you do rinse it out properly. Okay, so again, I'm just going in there with my um, aloe vera gel and then my oil. And again just combing it and once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and twist it and yeah just to seal in the moisture I think something just got in my eye <laughs> oh my god just being a bit silly okay guys so at this point i was completely done and you can see there how my hair is so shiny looking nice and clean my scalp was also nice and clean so yeah and i also didn't lose as much hair as perhaps i would have if i wasn't using this product so look at the amount of hair that i had uh, that I've, I've lost throughout this whole process i think it's a very very small amount compared to what i could have lost for example so this wash day routine is perfect like i love doing this and using these products because i think they work so if you're someone that really struggles with an excessive amount of shedding every time you wash your hair i would suggest you definitely try this and you'll come back and thank me later trust me it is amazing um so i'm just going in there again with my uh, aloe vera gel just a applying it on my ends and my edges guys i've lost my edges it's ridiculous you know postnatal shedding is real i'm still trying to regrow my edges but anyways we'll get there um so yeah i'm just applying that product uh, the aloe vera gel on my ends again just to keep it a bit more moisturized and yeah so that's what you want to do but you don't necessarily need to repeat this you can skip this step if you want to but i just love to do that at the end of every um um of basically uh, moisturizing my hair so i'm just going there with my aloe vera oil over again um so yeah so nice and nice and clean nice and soft so again focusing on my edges and my ends because that's the part that i kind of struggle a little bit more with at the moment um so yeah as i was sure i was as i was telling you guys look at my edges my edges are completely gone um yeah quite quite empty in fact uh but 
it's fine it's just one of those things we get we post need to shedding unfortunately so this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye now goodness anyways nice and moisturized hair yay